Welcome to the Generation Elevation Podcast, a conscious, connected platform for those who are ready to manifest their dream life. I'm your host, Elise Riley, a former PT, now motivational speaker, igniting empowerment and transformation all across the globe. Here at Generation Elevation, we are committed to bringing you the most inspiring guests who will share their stories, wisdom, and advice to help you progress closer to living a life of your own terms. Ever just had a thought and then just got stuck on it? And started thinking it over and 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 over again. Maybe it's the I'm not good enough loop. Maybe it's the what if I fail loop. Or maybe it's the oh, what are they going to think of me loop. Whereby you've had the thought and then you feel the emotion. Holy shit, I'm scared. And then you keep thinking and thinking and thinking about the same problem situation, etc. The thing about this, when you think about what you don't want to think about and you get stuck on that, where your focus goes, your energy flows, and what you focus on expands. So what you, when you think about what you don't want to think about, that is just expanding the problem and making it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Whereas if you were to focus on what you want, it is going to help you achieve your goals. It's going to help you progress towards the person that you want to be. Overthinking is impacting you from achieving the life that you want to live. It's impacting you and stopping you from winning. It's stopping you from getting into that relationship. It's stopping you from starting that business. It's stopping you from getting your dream home. Overthinking is stopping you from living the life that you want to live because you're simply thinking about the thing that you don't want to think about. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop doing that, how to stop overthinking. And the other day, guys, I did do a free masterclass on how to stop overthinking. So if you want to go into more detail, Let me know and just write in my DMs on Instagram, overthinking replay, and I'll send it to you for free. If you're new here to this podcast, you're welcome. And I just wanted to say to my long-term listeners, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you all and making sure that if you are new to subscribe to whatever platform you're listening on, to take a screenshot, share on your stories, review this podcast as well, because that's going to help us go higher in the ranks allow more people to see this platform and therefore help more people out there in the world. Now, today, like I said, I'm going to be teaching you how to stop overthinking. And to be honest, I was looking through the net to find some scientific studies to prove the solidity of mindfulness-based interventions in regards to overthinking. Now, you're probably going to laugh at this. I found a study that says that overthinking impacts your quality of life negatively. I'm like, wow, really? That is truly all I could find. There is very minimal studies on the impacts of mindfulness-based interventions for overthinking in itself. And to be honest, like mindfulness, it is a very new concept and the studies for it are in its infancy. And I swear I'll be doing this still in 10 years time and there will be so many studies out there to prove the solidity of this. And I'm just going to be sitting there like, see, I told you, I told you this worked. So trust in your own discernment. Like I said, there's not many studies based on this. However, like it's worth giving it a go. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, try something new. Okay. So how to stop overthinking. I'm going to give you some basic tools and tips here today to help you progress towards your goals and stop letting overthinking get in the way of that. Now, like I said, if you want the full in-depth explanation, You're going to have to ask me for that replay and I can give you that for free, okay? But here are my five points on how to stop overthinking. So if you woke up in the morning, maybe you're eating, maybe you are working, maybe you are talking to a friend on the phone and you started overthinking. Here's how to break it. First, what I would do is get outside. There's studies out there that show that being in nature is going to have a positive effect on your body and your mindset. So if you started overthinking, get outside. More than likely, if you're overthinking, you're not busy enough. You are probably scrolling. You're probably just sitting there watching Netflix. You're probably just talking on the phone to your friend, talking about the same situation, focusing on the same 
same topic that's making you overthink in the first place, right? Get busy, get outside. This is going to help you so much. Get in the ocean, get out in the grass, whatever you got to do, get outside. Even if it's raining, get outside. Second thing would be breathe. Breath, work, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, breathe. When you breathe, it's taking your focus off the thing that you don't want to think about. So breathe, just deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. And do that so many times. There's many breath work patterns and things that you can do and styles, techniques. And I might even do a video in depth explaining the impacts of breath work. I've also got some breath work podcast episodes throughout this channel. So if you can just go have a bit of a scroll. You might see the one with Scott Wallace and Coach Holler. Just keep going down and you'll find them. And honestly, breathwork is such a powerful tool. If you're feeling stressed, overwhelmed, and you're overthinking, breathe. Do some breathwork. Do some Wim Hof. And you can look that up on YouTube just under Wim Hof. And I am going to bring out my own breathwork techniques and styles and pop them on my website soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. Third point, meditate meditation. This is something that I preach because I do it every day. I wouldn't tell you to do something if I don't actually do it. It's just out of integrity for myself. I'm telling you, I meditate every single day. It's like trying to use your vacuum without plugging it in, okay? Unless you've got a wireless vacuum, but let's say we live in the day and age where they all got to be wired to the wall. (laughs) Imagine trying to use your vacuum and without plugging it in. It just doesn't work. Imagine trying to use your phone without charging it. It's just not going to work. So charge your phone, charge your vacuum, and it's going to work properly. So the same with yourself, making sure you're tuning in and connecting with yourself, getting to know yourself, so then you can go out there into the big world with a deeper understanding of who you are, a deeper understanding of what triggers you, what elevates you, and from this awareness, you can actually get out ahead of your overthinking. And if you want to learn more about how to do that, how to meditate, I've got an episode coming for you very soon on this. And I'm also dropping my own pre-recorded guided channel for you meditations on my website. So stay tuned for that as well. It's just generationelevation.com.au. Now, the side tangent notes to that would be meditation is to be napping, take a nap, If you're through your day and you're overthinking, 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 just take a nap because that will cease all overthinking, really. And then when you wake up, the first thing I want you to do is just focus on the 10 things you're grateful for or list as many things that you're grateful for as possible because the more you focus on what you want, what you love, what lights you up, the less you focus on what you don't want and what you were overthinking about. It's really important, guys. Stop lazy thinking and get out ahead of your thoughts. If you want to change, if you're serious about letting go of this pattern that's blocking you from achieving your goals, you got to think smart. You've got to be greater than your body because your body is addicted to the old ways of thinking because that is what your body knows to be safe. That's what you've taught your body all along, okay? It's like a child, right? Growing up, you teach them if they do something like this, like let's say, they eat all of their dinner, then they get a dessert. They eat all their dinner, they get a dessert. If they eat all their dinner, they get a dessert. So if they've been doing that all their life and then decide, okay, well, I really want to lose weight and I don't have enough calories in my meal plan to then eat the dessert anymore. It's going to take a while, a bit of adjustment to getting used to, but it's important to get out ahead of it. Keep busy, not be distracted. Imagine if you ate your dinner and then you're just sitting there. Well, of course, you're going to have the cravings to then go to the pantry and find some dessert, right? Get out ahead of it is all I'm going to say about that. The next side tangent for that would be non-sleep, deep rest. Andrew Huberman just did a post on Instagram about this as well, but it's essentially like not napping fully, but also not being awake fully. So it's kind of more of like a meditative state, but a little bit deeper than that. If you want more information, I can send it to you. Just message me on Instagram. And if you want to hear a deeper podcast episode on that, I can also talk on that too. The fourth thing I want to speak on is journaling. When you have a complicated maths question, do you figure it out in your head or do you figure it out by writing it out or using your calculator? Trick question. If you have a complicated maths question, 
do you calculate it on your phone? Do you write it out or do you do it in your head? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to write it out and I'm going to calculate it on my phone. I'm not going to do it in my head. We have access to these resources now where we can just simply calculate deep, complex equations. So why are you trying to calculate deep, complex life situations by just ruminating in your head? You're just going to get stuck on it over and over and over again. So why not write it out and journal? Externalize your thoughts and therefore by externalizing them onto paper by even, or even just sharing to a friend, you can then have that different perspective because it's not so up in here in your brain anymore. On that though, speaking to a friend, be mindful that you're not just continually focusing on the problem that you're facing when you're overthinking. Because if you are talking about that thing that you don't want to think about that you're talking about, that is still going to expand the problem. So it is important when you are sharing with a friend, you're sharing with someone that you trust and that's going to empower you to rise above the thing that you're thinking about that you didn't want to think about. (laughs) Okay. The next one, the last one I wanted to share with you today is to-do list. Like I said earlier, if you're not being busy, you're probably going to overthink. To-do lists are one of my favorite things. I think it's like a Virgo trait in me, but also like perfection. It is so satisfying when I tick things off or just to my mic when I was saying that. I was like super, super excited about to-do lists. So to-do lists are important because, okay, let's say you go into, if you're from London, Sainsbury's or m and or if you're from Australia, Coles, Woolies, your local supermarket, okay? Your local supermarket, you go in there, you go in without a to-do list. You walk around the aisles, what do I need? Can't really remember. Oh, do I need this? Oh, that looks cool. I'll grab this. And you start getting distracted and you start buying things that you never even actually intentionally went in there to buy and you forget things. But when you go in there with a to-do list, you're more focused, you can get it done, you get the things that you need, you don't get the things that you don't really need and you leave spending the amount of money that you wanted to spend with the things that you needed to get. You get the job done. It's faster, it's easier and it's seamless. No room for overthinking because you had a plan. So where are you going throughout your life without a plan? If you're going through life without a plan, you're probably going to be overthinking and feeling scattered, feeling lost. So many people message me these days saying, Elise, I feel so lost. Help me. I don't know how to find my purpose. I'm like, write a to-do list. Or listen to my podcast. But in all serious note, write a to-do list for your day so that if you find yourself starting to overthink, well, go back to your to-do list. Okay, well, what was the thing that you said you're going to do today? What was that promise that you made to yourself? Follow through on those promises and you'll find that you'll be so distracted from your overthinking that you'll be actually progressing towards your goals rather than stuck and then feeling that anxiety that comes along when you're thinking about the thing that you don't want to think about. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. Like I said, if you want a more in-depth chat on overthinking and you really resonated with today's podcast, it would be amazing if you could share this episode on your stories, on your social media, send it to a friend even. And if you want that free replay, just message me on Instagram, just write down overthinking replay and I'll send that to you. It would be my pleasure. Love you guys. Enjoy the rest of your week and I'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you for being a part of the Generation Elevation community. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to leave a five-star rating, written review, share, and tag me on Instagram at Elise.Riley. Until next time, keep loving, keep learning, and keep rising.